Let's get the latest. We're going to be joined by teams by the Eastern Cape Department of Basic Education's MEC spokesperson, Vuyusega Botlaila. Vuyusega, good afternoon and thank you for your time with us here on the SABC. Thank you very much, colleagues, and good afternoon to SABC viewers at home. Vuyusega, at this point, given the investigations that are underway, what have you uncovered as the department regarding this incident to date? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, um, guys. I think the first important thing that we might need to, to just raise is that um, the preliminary report that is before us is indicating that uh, this started as a game uh, where um, learners, uh, boy uh, learners, uh, would uh, play a particular game which they call "You Dare Not," um, and then from that then one would pick the person that uh, would play with. But it escalated to a point where it involved uh, sexual uh, activities. And uh, we must say that um, from where we're seated, it, it, it indicates uh, a society that needs uh, serious help because boys of that age wouldn't be expecting them to be engaged in sexual activities such that uh, there's a learner that uh, would need extra care and also there are learners that would then fear to go to school. Uh, it therefore means that we've got a, a serious problem just generally as a society but commitment from the department is that uh, those learners must be given a support and of course, uh, due diligence in terms of uh, legal process must be done uh, because uh, what also makes this to be a bit difficult is that these are minors, mm -hmm. which uh, it therefore means that uh, they will be under children's uh, clause of the constitution in terms of whether can they be tried legally or not. But as the department, uh, there's a commitment that uh, all of them, they need to be given uh, due uh, treatment that they need, those that need psychosocial support. And also uh, the school will be looked at closely by the district uh, because that is a school that has got a boarding facility. So it means that there's more that needs to be done in terms of the operation of that boarding facility and also uh, maybe the matrons that are serving in that particular school. Thank you for, for that context. Um, perhaps as we, we obviously try to take in what happened and you, you're right, the sensitivity of the matters come to the fore because the children in question obviously now allegedly the perpetrators and they also some serve as the victims as well. So looking at how it's going to be handled is of paramount importance. Um, we also spoke about accountability and responsibility, which you alluded to. You know, we're not questioning who should be held responsible for the incident. As I know, it happened at school. Some questioning where the supervision was, given that it was a boarding school at this time. I wonder, as the department, what measures have you now put in place to ensure that such incidences are avoided in the future? Were there any incidences prior to this as well? Um, in terms of uh, that particular school one, there's a district director that now is uh, going to be submitting uh, at least a bit of an updated report uh, starting from the day that the incident uh, happened and today. And also, I think um, uh, this will be the second incident that we're counting as a province where there is an incident of rape of uh, learners by other learners. The other one happened in Nelson Mandela Metro, but the difference is that it was just not um, during the, uh, it was not in, hosp in, in hostel. But what matters most on this one is that um, uh, just generally, uh, parents need to be very close to the school because existence of a school is their own responsibility. And also the department's commitment is that the report must be able to unearth facts about what happened on that day. So that if there's a need in terms of training that needs to be done to those that are taking care of learners, it is done. And or if there is a need of a person that must be given a sentence for what would have happened there, such is done. So um, after the, the district director would have given a report to the head of department, definitely a process uh, of redeeming uh, the image of that school and also uh, of making sure that those learners that are affected in both sides, those that are perpetrators and also those that are victims, they are given a proper support. Because um, sometimes we can say even the, the, the perpetrators 
um, uh, are fine, only to find that even themselves they've got some uh, signals that they are uh, uh, indicating, but report that we are expecting from the district that is going to give us that because we can't be having uh, learners of that age engaged in sexual activities because it means from the time they would be finishing grade 12, they would kind of be off having kids. Absolutely, absolutely. And so as we await that report from the district director to hand over to the head of department, how long is that set to take? And in the meantime, you're speaking about assistance. What assistance is an offer to the survivors? One psychosocial support has been given to 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 the to the to the learners and also uh, support uh, to the families because if you'd have uh, also uh, as you have already played that uh, a video where the parent says that she is devastated, definitely the support is needed to that family and also uh, services of social development and of course we appreciate the fact that even the local municipality is party to the process so that we can know if this is a societal issue or is a school related issue but from where we are seated um, just preliminarily we suspect that more needs to be done in the community where that school exists and also more needs to be done in searching what is the real reality about those boys that are involved in that? Because it may happen that they are coming from a community that have got a serious social in, which is also a responsibility of government for it to be taken care of. So from where we sit at the, uh, the system and the coordination that is being done by government, also the local municipality indicates that there's something that we're going to have. And as a department, we commit to give psychosocial support. All right. So um, I, I did ask about timelines. Um, so, so if you have any indication as to when that report will be handed over, please do indicate. And given the fact that it is also exam time, has it affected assessments or exams at that school in particular? Perhaps also what's the overall um, performance during exam time in the province as we speak? Perhaps you could just give us those two updates. Um, we can we 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 we're expecting that report at least uh, today close of the of the day, and uh, I can make an indication that uh, the agility of the uh, of the head of department and also the coordination that he does with district directors even have meetings on Saturdays. So between now and Monday, we'll be having that report, and. Um, um, that is a school that uh, really uh, is, in fact, the learners that are affected, they are not in grade 12, uh, they are in the lower grades. But just generally in the province, examination is going very well. Uh, we have uh, not had an incident thus far, and uh, the commitment that is shown by the uh, ahead of examination in all our 12 districts, it indicates that uh, we have a potential of delivering incident-free examination. And also, um, learners themselves, they are optimistic and uh, they are very committed in delivering um, a better performance for the province. And uh, we give them the support that we think they need. And uh, one last call that maybe we can make is that they must continue uh, to behave and they must desist from doing anything that will jeopardize their own a uh, writing process, especially uh, coming up with crypt notes in classes and uh, also doing uh, unfamiliar things with academic process because that has got the potential to destroy their lives for a sanction that can be three years. Uh, because if you caught with a crypt note in the Department of Education during exam time, you've got a three years that is waiting for you outside the academic process. So for now, we are confident of what is happening. And of course, that school is going to be given even the needed support uh, to make sure that if that learner, for an example, needs to be writing differently, maybe in the following year, such is possible uh, because there would be a report that the uh, head of department is working on. Okay, let's leave the conversation there. Thank you for your time with us and for that update. Um, for your sake, uh, Botkaila is um, the Eastern Cape Department of Basic Education's MEC spokesperson and she was just uh, updating us. We we're seeing rape allegations at a Butterworth school coming to the fore. Minors allegedly being raped by minors. Um, we're monitoring developments on that front um, as, as that unfolds. She was giving us an update there.